Hi food lovers and friends, welcome back to this vegetarian kitchen. If you're new here, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Yeah, you don't want to miss out. You don't want to miss out on the knowledge, the cooking, the fun, the talks we have here. Smash that subscribe button. You don't have to watch another video to figure out if you want to join the Food Lovers family. Just do it. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. And see, we have been doing lectins for maybe about a month now, four weeks. Yeah, post one video every week. Yeah, so we have been doing lectins for about a month now, and I've been enjoying the lectin diet so far. I just wanted to come on and give you my experience Ooh, that I, yeah. I experienced something and I want to share it with you guys and I don't think I will take more than maybe five minutes to do so let's not put myself on a timer that ain't gonna work scrap that <sighs> okay let's get into it so I've been doing a lectin free diet I should say a somewhat lectin-free diet because I know I vary from it, you know, something new, you know, you can't be on top of things all the time. And I'm not sure if I'm going to stick to this 100%, but I know for a fact that they're after gaining more knowledge on lectins and what it has been doing to our bodies. I definitely know I'll be changing a lot of things in my diet. Yes, knowledge is power. So today I want to share my experience since I have started the lectin-free diet. Somewhat lectin-free diet because believe me, I know I do not do everything that I read, okay? I peel my tomatoes though and I do see them just like my eggplants and stuff, and that is significant. Now, growing up, um, I eat brown rice, right? And brown rice is a big thing for me. So uh, I'm like, let me share my experience because I know a lot of people, they're like, brown rice is the best rice. Brown rice is the healthier rice. But I want to tell you something. So since I started my lectin free journey, I eliminated brown rice from my diet, right? So I've been doing this now for maybe four weeks or maybe more than that, maybe, maybe more than a month, maybe two months now. And so for two months, I've been eating a somewhat lectin-free diet. And I eliminated brown rice, I eliminated wheat flour, and of course, I peel my tomatoes and we see them, peel my eggplants, we see them. I pressure cook when I'm doing potatoes. I pressure cook when I'm doing rice and all of that. Uh, what I've learned so far is that removing lectins really it makes me feel good. Normally, after I finish eating rice, after I finish eating dumplings, tomatoes, and those things, I would feel extremely full. Extremely full. And I know somebody commented in one of my videos that they stopped belching tomatoes because they're doing it too as well with me. And that's true. When I eat tomatoes, raw tomatoes, I would belch it for a while. TMI. And that's not happening anymore since I start reseeding it and also peeling it. Sweet peppers. If I'm doing sweet pepper, I either pickle my sweet pepper or I pressure cook it. So I do not have that. I would belch sweet peppers too. And I ensure to take out my seeds from the sweet pepper. But guys, I need to tell you this. So, three days ago, 
approximately three days ago, I did not have any of my basmati rice, right? Because I start to use that, right? Instead of my bone rice. But, you know, I had some red rice and I had some bone rice. So I'm like, okay, I want to cook rice today because really I don't want to eat any couscous or millet or quinoa. And yes, I eat quinoa still, but what I do, I pressure cook my quinoa. Trust me, it tastes good. And... <laughs> And so I'm like, okay, let me just do the rice because what's going to happen to it? It's just going to stay there until we throw it out or find somebody to give it to. And we really can't give somebody that because you open it already, right? Anyway, so I went ahead and I cooked my red rice mixed with my brown rice. <sighs> Guys, I did pressure cook it. And let me tell you, I was so sick. I was so sick. My stomach got bloated. I, my mouth, I had this fresh taste in my mouth. I got so sick and I'm like, this is a rice that I normally eat, right? And yes, I normally feel extremely full and uncomfortable for quite some time when I eat it. So you know what this is telling me? I have some sort of lectin allergy or something. I don't know. I don't think that rice is good to eat, you know, guys. Remember, I said that there is a thunderstorm going on outside, and that is the thunder. So back to it. Yes, I had to give a break in transmission for the thunder and the lightning. So I figured these grains, more or less, they were designed by God and all. Yes, but he did not design them for us to eat them like that. And it's not a crime to remove the husk from off the rice because that's the part that is poisonous. So while we're eating the shell of these things, after experiencing and still experiencing this bloatedness in my stomach and this uncomfortable feeling, I know for a fact I will not be eating brown rice again. I will not be eating the red rice, no black rice. I'm just putting those on the back burner for right now. And I am just going to try and focus on just getting back to where I was. My belly was so flat, was so flat. It took my belly. I've been trying to lose belly fat for maybe four years now. And I mean, just by simply cutting out brown rice, wheat flour, and those things out of my diet. <sighs> you know what? I'm going, my belly is bloated right now, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a picture of my belly now. And I'm guessing that because I messed up and did that, it might take me another four weeks or so to get it back down. But I'm Definitely going to take a belly shot today. And then four weeks from now, I'll do another belly shot. Four to six weeks from now, I'll do another belly shot. Because when I said guys, my belly went down just from going on the lectin diet. The somewhat sort of kind of lectin diet, you know. I just removed wheat from my diet. That's all I did, you know, remove wheat when I'm eating rice and everything else, I pressure cook. I never used to pressure cook. I never ever pressure cook yam. I pressure cook yam and it came out great. And I don't know, I think I need to try them in a regular, regular pressure cooker to see how it turns out. But you can pressure your rice in your regular stove top pressure cooker. Thanks for watching and remember if you're new, subscribe, hit the bell. And to my regular food lovers, thanks for watching, thanks for the support. But guys, if you don't hit the like button, YouTube not going to circulate my video. So you guys need to hit the likes, login 
don't just click the link and watch log in and click the like okay and i think that's about it thanks for watching bye